Good evening and welcome to a wet Amory, Wisconsin for a middle border regular season finale between the Baldwin Woodville Blackhawks and the Amory Warriors. I'm Jeremy Nygaard, joined by, as always, Zach Ambrose on the camera and Nick Pack. Nick, how you doing tonight? We're dry. Okay, we are back momentarily. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know if this is weather related or once. We seem to have we seem to have good cellular signal, but not great connection. So, like the weather, not a promising night here on the uh, technology side. But the uh, technology side, but other than. Four, and the only reason to be four. Are we gone? Yeah. Uh, actually, I think we might still be on, but just probably not. I don't think so. Mine's right there. Zach, do you have a hotspot that's not T-Mobile? No, we're still, we're still on, but we're very glitchy. And now, yeah, so now it's coming back on. In and out right now it seems, but anyway, um, I think the lowest with a victory Baldwin could be would be a four. Uh, we got Mouston and, and um, Adams Friendship playing. Both of them are winner of that will win their conference over there. If lost his brother maybe once or twice, but um, he will lead the lead the Warriors run, running attack as well as. Can you just turn our speakers off while we try to? We're gonna figure this out hopefully. All right, well, here we are. Test, test, test. <laughs> uh, so what did we learn tonight? We learned that the signal from the, uh, the, the device to the iPad doesn't work well if cardboard is in between it. Hey, science teacher out there, let us know on that one. Or uh, science, or is it via communication, or? I don't know. Hey, someone's smarter than us, which doesn't but take I'll tell you a what. whole lot. If if I would have been uh, if I would have been sitting on the or standing on the top of our press box in the rain and the wind dealing with this, I would have quit. I would have quit. I wouldn't have. I'd have been there by myself. <laughs> I guess. And, we, and then we wouldn't have had any TV because I wouldn't know what to do. So. Well, you're just gonna have to periodically look and make sure that that says good because right now we're good off of the uh, cameraman's Wi-Fi. But yeah, I mean, the only thing we did differently is. We have we have a, a cardboard box so you guys can see the scoreboard, and uh, the the cardboard box was in between the the device that sends the signal, and the iPad, which is where the the yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Nick, how you doing tonight? Hey, we're we're good now. We're we're good. We're live, and hopefully we have all the issues taken care of. Um, again, we said we're dry. The uh, field has uh, as Zach shows where they're going to kick off from. That was right where the Blackhawks were warming up and. You can see there's a lot of mud out there, and it could be a lot of traction issues tonight. I think if you talk about uh, advantage, disadvantage, it does play into Amory's uh, style of play a little more than it would Baldwin Woodville's, but 
Now, did what? you see what the kicker just did there? He uh, he wiped the ball on the wet ground, then teed it up to kick it off. And it is a squib. Probably not the last one, and there was one slip there, and out across the 35 is going to be Baldwin Woodville on their first possession here in Amory. We might lose some numbers. I'm pretty sure that was beating the ball. <laughs> I have no idea. They're all going to be wearing black jerseys here in a little bit, but. Looks like he picked it up at the 20 and. Out to the 37. Wow. So conditions are the same for everyone. No excuses here, and uh, it's, it's football, football weather. In the October, so Cal Smith, senior quarterback, last regular season game. Speed sweep, hush, to try and get to the edge. Gets around the first one and then does not get away from hockey. I feel like that's, there's not a lot of people that have escaped hockey. No, he is our leading tackler. So, again, we'll say his name a lot, both offensively and defensively, leading rusher for Amory. And leading tackler, middle linebacker, I believe. Pick up a two for the Blackhawks on their first snap. Yeah, I, how much do you think the passing game is utilized tonight, Nick? It's going to be a lot a lot of this, quick passes. That's going to be hushed on this on quick pass out in the bubble. And across midfield. Out to the Warrior 47-yard line. First down, I think you're going to see that, and you might see the... You know, fake that, and it's going to be a lot of straight, you know, fly route, yep. nine route, whatever you want to call it. Um, not a lot of planting. Advantage offense both ways. Because you know where you're you, going. You know when and where you're going to go. Cal Smith fakes up the middle. Going to have about five yards or so on first down. Good good gain. Opening possession here in Amory. Expect the rain to continue all night long. I would guess this is going to be the least attended game of the season. As For we mentioned, reason. pulling in to get the, a lot of the cars yeah. over there, and hopefully they eventually turn all their lights off. I'm sure the just parking, they automatically will go off. It's up the middle, and there's a slip. Jackson Johansson, but I think he slips I'm just shy sure, of yeah. the first down. Um, would have had it, but again, slips and, yeah, and he's won't be the last one. He's entirely covered in mud. He's going to – these white jerseys might uh, – yeah. They might uh, never be white again. Does, does the team wash the jerseys, or do they take them home and wash them? I know. Uh, the teams oh, no, wash the, them the teams wash them, okay. yeah. Quick pass again. How do, how do you get that open, Giselle? Is it Gavin? Yeah. Window we got is a little blur blurry here. Might end up opening it, but Gavin Sell on reception. Quick pass. Get him the ball. Another 15-yard gain. He's the one that likes to make that cut. We'll see how he can do if he gets a chance out in open field to he can keep his feet. Speed sweep, beating doll. Cuts it inside. Good little cut there as we are out close to our first down. Ryan Vienendahl. Stopping the clock. Give him that first down. And Baldwin Woodville driving, opening possession here. Still over 10 minutes to go. Outside the 10, so they can still pick up the first down. Vienendahl in motion this time. Gets it again. This time he's going to be brought down oh in yeah. the backfield. I cannot see the number on that one. You might be able to see if you look at my screen there. Alan, apparently. I might listen to the commentator and we'll just trust <laughs> him. <laughs> Apologize about that. but Second and about 15 for the Blackhawks. Opening possession. You know, we'll know when... Uh, when new guys Pass. come into the game. Wheel route, he's open. Uh, it's Caden Haldorf, I believe. Caden Haldorf into the end zone from 16 yards out. Touchdown, Blackhawks, six nothing early. Opening possession. So if we're wondering how much the passing game's gonna come into play there, 46 three. yards on the- Three for three? Through the air, yeah, three for three. That was the, the farthest throw, if you will, a little wheel route. I, I, do imagine a lot of this too, going for, going for two. Across the, probably the whole most of the state of Wisconsin. Yeah, if you look at uh, the scores that I that I projected, I did it in multiples of six or eight. Not <laughs> a lot. Of, I mean, there's some sevens because a six and an eight is a fourteen. That's but, a fourteen. But 
but getting uh, getting to 24, I think, is going to be a... Cal Smith goes up the middle, fakes, and in for the two-point conversion. So, talking about right in the ship after last week, when we tried talking about that, nothing better than getting the ball first. I didn't see, I didn't see who won the coin toss, but we end up with the ball. Sometimes yeah. you want the ball, you want to score, put a good feeling on. Right. Blackhawks just did that. March down the field, eight nothing, nine eighteen to go in the first quarter. Yeah, that tells me that I should read an advertisement, and I will thank all of our Blackhawk TV advertisement: Baldwin Greenhouse, Firehome Langer, Nielsen's Food, St. Craig Garage Door, Strikers Lanes and Sports Bar, Timmerman Realty, Wisconsin Credit Union, St. Croix Custom Apparel, Baldwin Lightstream, CW Garage Door Distribution, Fenner and Jewelers, Schaefer Financial Services, Blackhawk Garage Door, O'Connell Funeral Homes, Precision Truck Service, Precision Excavating Enterprises. A Star Concrete, Culver's of Baldwin, Family Cairo Care, TMS Auto, Halverson Concrete Solutions, White Cat Financial Advisors, Pete's Construction, American Family Insurance, Village Pharmacy, OEM Fabricators, and Western Wisconsin Health. Want to thank all of our sponsors here at Blackhawk TV. Without you guys, we don't do this. So yeah, very successful. I don't think we had a third down there either on that possession, did we? Um, no. Unless we had a had another. Was it a third and one when, when nope. Jackson fell down? That might have been. Yes, it was. Okay. Yep, you're right. But third and very manageable, so ahead of the sticks. A little squib kick here. I mean, I don't know if you want to call it a squib kick or just a natural kick right now. Picked up, I believe, is number 60. 60 or 80? 80. 80. 80. 80. Ellison. So there was a game... In 2007 or 2008, if, if Coach Curtis is listening, he'll know. We played Somerset in a very similar weather game. The first half was an absolute mess. Somerset went into the school, came out at halftime miraculously. New Jersey? N no. Oh. I think they replaced their, their cleats because there was no more slipping. Oh. And... All of a sudden, we're, we're making cuts that weren't being made earlier. And Hopke on the carry. I'm not, a, I'm not accusing Somerset of, of, of cheating that game, but they did something. You can change your cleats. I mean, there's well, you can only go to a half inch. Right. I'm saying like you can change them from, from one cleat to, you know, to right. another, too. But. Oh, ball, ball, ball is loose. And that is recovered. I believe it's Colin Fritz that has it. Sure is. And the second play for the Warriors, I believe, is, it, is that Wallen? Yep. The quarterback. They, they do switch it up a little bit now. No, that's – is that Wallen? Or is that number, number five? five. That's not Wallen. Who's number five? That's a, that's a freshman, Logan Dotson. So well, where's Carter yeah. Wallen? Well, I, I noticed that, that he, they've had three different uh, – they had a sophomore quarterback that's their second leading – or just as many attempts as, as Carter. They've only, I mean, completed maybe seven passes, eight passes all year, but Carter does run the ball very well. So Blackhawks in the second possession here. We'll be Cal. up the middle of Cal on the fake. Ball, some nice blocking. He's going to have another first down right around the, right around the marks anyway. Just shy. A good block by Jackson Johansson. Second and one. Right up the middle. He's going to do it again. Try to get Makes the first guy miss. Next, the second guy miss. Down inside the 20. Down to the 16 yard line goes Cal Smith. He is the leading rusher for the Blackhawks. Had an all around very fantastic senior year so far. Hopefully, he's got a few games left. But that'll probably put him over 700 yards for the season. Came in at 681. First and ten, Blackhawks leading 8 nothing. Trips to the left, narrow side. There's Johansson in the backfield with Cal Smith. And he can drop back. Going up, Gavin is going to be overthrown and out of bounds. So the first incompletion will bring up second and ten from the 16-yard line. Yeah, we talked about before the game that weather's a really an equalizer, right? I mean, the the guys that are able to, m to make the moves, the more athletic ones, 
it's harder in situations like this. But I think as you start to have success, you gain more confidence, mm-hmm. and you see things like that where, yeah, let's take a shot into the end zone. Right. Spake up the middle. He's going to follow Holdorf. Makes a nice block. It's going to be third and very manageable. About three yards for the Blackhawks on third down. And as you mentioned, the offensive guys know where they're going. So when you're running a route, it's going to be easier to, to modify your steps than if you're trying to cover that route. Yep. Third and three. Fake up the middle again. And he's going to cut. He's going to find the end zone possibly. No. Nope. It's just shy. Down about the two-yard line. Cal Smith. First down, Blackhawks. And I, I would feel like, you know, I'm not saying anything that you're not watching. Success up the middle is there. They're going to have to adjust to stop that. And up the middle again. He's going to be just shy down about the one-yard line is Cal Smith. It's going to be second and one. And then you got someone down there. Is that Cal Smith? That is Cal Smith. Cal Smith's slow to get up. That's problematic. It kind of looks like he's holding his gut. Maybe hopefully gets the wind knocked out of him maybe. Can't speculate, but. Crouch over kind of like that. I don't know. I would imagine that would bring in uh, Monikin as a. Yep, so Graydon did not play offensively last week. He had a. He hurt his thumb the week before. And so he did not play on offense at all. It looks like he's healthy enough and, and he's is playing. Um, a matter of, of what. You know how confident you are in his thumb. He, he's certainly the the next in line if he's fully healthy, and I think that's probably what the coach Kiefer's talking about. As Cal is very gingerly moving, and I think oh, that's a lower leg. body. This is right leg. So he'll hobble hobble off. Hopefully, it's walking off. But now, I mean, again, you talk about weather conditions on a field like this that plays a factor into the injury as well. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, is it something that it could be a, a, a minor injury that you could make worse if he goes back out there? Right. Obviously, we don't know. I'm not going to speculate, but that will not help. Nope, so it is Graydon. Graydon Monikin, the junior. Has had a, bit of, a fair amount of uh, possessions for the Blackhawks over the course of the season, but None like none in the first quarter like this, and new experience for him. Low snap, and the ball is loose. So first play, almost like he tried distancing himself almost from the, I believe it was on the speed sweep, and didn't quite get it in his belly. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think that was so much a, a grading issue as much as it was a snapping issue, and I, and and that's obviously yep. something that you're gonna have to see too because. The ball's wet, right? Yep. And so snapping is going to be just as big of an issue as anything else. And you don't get that the luxury of uh, you know taking some snaps with the center and quarterback because they both play defense too. Right. Snap and he does bobble again. He's got a wide open guy. He had he had uh, Fritz wide open in the corner of the end zone. Luckily, it gets knocked down to the ground by Amory. Otherwise, that might have been six, six points, the other way. Yeah. But I, I mean, if he sees Fritz. Yeah. The corner of the end zone. He's going to throw it out there, but unfortunately he didn't, so it brings up fourth and goal from the seven-yard line. I would expect maybe a, a quick pass here. Or you got Gavin in the slot down here, closest to us. A little snap. He fumbles it. He's going to go up the middle. He's going to push forward, and I don't think he is oh. in. Back to the one-yard line. Goes Monikin, but Amory turns him over on downs and 5.51 to go in the first quarter. Blackhawks 8, Amory 0. And that's an opportunity for me to tell you all about Strikers Lanes and Sports Bar at 780 Cedar Street in Baldwin, who offers something for everyone. If you're interested in the competition and camaraderie of a team, come join one of the bowling leagues, offering men, women, couples, seniors, and youth leagues. They run from September through April. Reserve an open bowling time for family, friends, work, or birthday parties. When you get hungry or thirsty from all the bowling fun or while watching the big games on the mini big screen TV, Stryker Sports Bar is sure to satisfy. Check out our menu and weekly food and drink options at strikerslanes.com. Also, 
Congrats to Jen Nikolsky, Bartender of the Year, according to Bald and Bolton, and she will be serving tonight. Ask her for a margarita, which is her favorite thing to make, and they're on uh, special. Bloody Marys and all those late night drinks that are that take a lot. Long Island iced teas. <laughs> uh, what else is uh, involves like four, four or five different liquors and a couple different mixers and all the garnishes and. Yeah, she'll make any of those for you. So that was you. She loves to. He got one yard on that one, I think. One yard, second and nine for the Amory. Backed up against their own goal line here, out to the two-yard line. Up the middle again. I believe it's Hopke. He is the last one up. He gets out to just inside the five. It'll bring up about third and seven or so. Amory Warriors again, as we mentioned. I want to say. I want to say they only have 10 completions on the season between both quarterbacks. Well, say that again. I don't think they have 10 completions. On the season? On the season. Their leading receiver has three receptions. And we have a whistle here with a, a penalty, false start. So half the distance is a goal for the Warriors. Back them up a couple yards is all. Goes from the four back to the two. Make it a third and nine. So, Carter Wallen is Number not six, playing. He's the one come. So is he? Is he playing like one of their wing backs? Carter Wallen is the number six. So a stacked eye here. Three backs, Three backs behind. And it is a power, power blast, they call that. You got three, you got a fullback and secondary fullback, and then Juhas carries it. Gets out from the goal line at least, and it'll be punting from their five. And you know, this is where you, do you go after him here, Jeremy? You know, potential I don't for a bad snap. I, I don't know that you do anything s different. I think you just, you, you can live with wherever you're going to get the ball here. Snap is good. Kick is away. Good, That's a great phenomenal kick. Phenomenal punt. Gavin does field it at about the 45, 46, and as we mentioned before, I'd like to see him get the cut, but it's going to be tough. He slips down at the 46, but the Blackhawks, three and out, and get the ball back with 3.55 to go, leading 8 nothing. St. Croix Garage Doors provides Western Wisconsin with top quality garage door sales service and installation. We probably serve Baldwin, Woodville, Hudson, Nurchman, River Falls, Stillwater, Menominee, and surrounding areas. Give Brian a call today at 715-781-8989 for a quote install or service. Looks like Graydon is out here for series number two of his, series number three for the Hawks. Yep, and uh, first full series, so maybe get the cobwebs out. He did have a nice run there on fourth down and up to three yards shy, but and he's replaced by Everts here on the flanker. Look, counter action here. Jax Johansson tries to make a couple cuts, okay. stays on his feet. Who's that making block? Colin? <laughs> He's going to get out to about the 40-yard line, Jackson Johansson. Give him about six on first down, second and four. Colin made a couple blocks. Second and four for the Blackhawks. Much better. Jack said, no, I'm looking through two, two windows. <laughs> Come on by me, I'm nice and warm. Quick pass, I believe a sell. Not very often, he's wrapped up right away, but again, one of his biggest weapons is his feet. And it's gonna be third and about five, six yards to go. Just lost all my sheets, but. Third and six, Blackhawks. Again, last possession we saw, Cal Smith. Hobble off with an injury. He's going to be great amount of can come in this way. He's not going to get there. He's going to cross the 40. Give him credit for about a yard or two. But it will be fourth and about four yards. Long three for the Blackhawks who keep their offense out there. Looking over and here's one I know you're thinking right now is just we're, we're, we're a fast team right now is where you just go up there fast and have your dummy call and, yep. and maybe burn a timeout. Yeah, that. And now he's just going to burn one here anyway with 2.18 to go. 
Coach Kiefer uses his first timeout. When we come back, it'll be fourth and a long three for the Blackhawks. Since 1935, Baldwin Greenhouse has been serving Baldwin and the surrounding areas by offering the freshest flowers, plants, and gifts for any occasion. Some of the flowers and many of the plants are grown right on site. They'd love to help with anything you need. Give them a call at 715-684-2104 or visit online at baldwingreenhouse.com. Precision Excavating Enterprises is a full-service excavating, grading, and trucking contractor located in Baldwin, offering all types of residential and commercial earth moving, septic systems, demolition, landscaping, driveways, and building sites. Our trucking division offers dump truck, grain hopper, and flatbed hauling services, sand, gravel, fill delivery, serving the Baldwin and surrounding western Wisconsin areas. Give us a call at 715-760-0768 for free estimate. How's that going over there for you, Mr. Pack? Well, I can see now. We, we opened the window here, and it got a little chilly, but not worry about that. But now any sheets we had here just yeah, flying throughout the press box. Yep. Beautiful press box we get here in Amory. It's yeah, a and whole it's, lower level here. To is it, it started coming down harder, right? Or has it been? It, yeah. Maybe it's just because now we can I actually we can see, can see the, outside. see it yeah. a little bit. And fourth and four. We know in motion, and they do come they outside. They did. So both... Both number three and 22 here for Amy, which I can't really see too many numbers now. But All right, so I just say do that before the timeout. That's but he'll going to call a timeout and get it done. That's, that's fine, too. That's Wallen and Wallen. Not related Wallen and Wallen. I maybe need to be careful. We're in the we're also in the coaching box. So they, ah, they got headsets they're on. They're subjected to everything I have to say. They watch the huddle. They don't watch this. That's true. You know, all in motion, again, Monica has kind of struggled with the snap. I don't know if it's, you know. I think it's just probably his thumb. Yeah, I mean. So is his left thumb? Looks like he's got his right thumb taped up. But still, I mean, it's. If you got a if you got a bum thumb, a bum thumb that prevented him from catching any passes, playing any offense last week. Right. And now you're going to ask him to catch every snap. And, and Noah That's is a good snapper. I mean, these balls aren't coming in slowly. And it's, it's cold, it's wet. Oh, he slips. He slips on, he's trying to throw. He's running, he's gonna try and throw up. Oh, no. Gonna go incomplete, lands at the 20. Will be a third and about eight yards for the Blackhawks. Yeah, we saw Cal attempt a couple passes. I mean, it was a, sh a short one, another short one. Um, threw a wheel route to, to Taden downfield and also threw one way over Gavin's head. Yep. And it looked like, yeah, maybe we can pass, but Graydon has really battled the elements here through through three passes. The officiating crew is getting a workout. Uh, they just switch the balls almost every probably every two plays or so, as well as the ball boy, ball girl, fake bubble screen over the middle. He's got Fritz open, hauls it in. Colin Fritz down. Almost a 10-yard line looks like could be first and goal. Colin Fritz somehow gets wide open across the middle. Picked that bubble screen. Obviously, Gavin's going to draw some attention. And down to the 12-yard line. No, can't be 12-yard line. They got 12 on the scoreboard, but it's first and goal. Hush on the speed sweep. So where did you have the ball at? Cause it must be the 10. Was it was the 10-yard line? Hush. Colton Hush, give him five, second and goal from the five-yard line. I'm, I'm guessing this might be Monikin up the middle again, or Johansson up the middle. Johansson. I, I would, I would let, I mean, we haven't seen Graydon have good footing yet. I, I would probably give it away. Jackson there. does get it. Goes nowhere. Third and goal. I, I wonder as I say, Monica, is it's one less handoff though too. I mean, uh, the handoffs can be That's can be troublesome and absolutely true. You make good points, Nick. Not very often. I've never made any points on the basketball court. <laughs> so, uh, Usher motion fake to him. It is Monica up the middle. He does lower his shoulder, but he is brought down by Koi Hopke. Yeah, maybe you just don't run towards Koi Hopke. Probably easier said than done. He's gonna take you down. I mean, I'd probably not walk towards him in the hallway. No, no. I see him in the stands and basketball games, and I kind of walk that way. <laughs> so we're gonna so that'll be the end, end of the, end of the first, first quarter here. Blackhawks open possession, drive down, and score. 
second possession. No, we saw a senior quarterback, Cal Smith, get injured, and we'll see what happens with that. But it's 8 nothing Blackhawks. Members of Wisconsin Credit Union can access account information and take care of most everyday banking needs via Wisconsin Online, the mobile app, and text banking. Immediate access to your Wisconsin accounts is also available 24 hours a day via touchstone phone. Visit them at wisconsincu.org to learn more. A Star Concrete Pumping is proud to be family owned and operated in Wisconsin. We pride ourselves on maintaining a high quality, unique fleet and very knowledgeable staff to complete all projects. From smaller residential projects to large scale commercial enterprises, A Star Concrete Pumping has the equipment, staff, and experience to handle all of your concrete needs. Contact them at 715 246 3920. How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> kind of managing the situation. I shut the window so we can stay yeah. dry and. And now we got the window that you're looking through the Mr. Ambrose camera. We can see out pretty clearly. Yeah, the view that people have at home is... It's, I almost want to watch the game on the iPad. By yeah. far the best of anybody. I mean, last week, too, it was not nice up on, on, on top. Yeah. And it did... It I don't think it was fun to watch it on the iPad either or on the TV screen no. last week. I mean, it depends what color you were wearing. Yeah. If you were wearing red, you probably wanted to shut it off. Yeah. Fourth and goal again for the Blackhawks at the three-yard line. Looking to take a two-score lead here. Snap is low again. It will be Johansson up the middle. He lowers his shoulder. Thank you. And guys. he is into the end zone. Jackson Johansson for the sixth time. Rushing touchdown. Puts the Blackhawks up. 14 to nothing. I think uh, at this point, do you put Cal in the game even if he feels good? Nope. I mean, I mean he's sitting on the bench. It's with these conditions. I mean, it obviously, all depends on what the injury is. Again, can it get worse? Can it get better? Well, it ain't getting better. Anna can slip and slip and, and he Don't loses go. the ball. But in high school, you cannot score. Unsuccessful two-point try, and the Blackhawks lead four. To zero. Whether we're cooking the perfect butter burger to order or scooping up our freshest batch of the flavor of the day, we work hard to ensure you will always leave happy. We know you have a lot of work to do and many options to choose from, so we appreciate when you take the time to visit Culver's of Baldwin. And if you visit Culver's of Baldwin between noon and 3 tomorrow, look for my son Cade and wish him a, a happy Saturday. Okay. I was going to say happy birthday, but uh, no. Nope. Happy Saturday, okay. Yeah, he's, uh, he's working tomorrow. Noon to 3. Noon? I think it's noon to 3 or noon to 3.30. I'm not sure. I've never ate at Culver's. Really? Never. Never had uh, ice cream or never had a... Is well, it's butter, custard. Butter it's custard. Or whatever it is. Yeah, no. How is that possible? I don't actually eat fast food ever, but... This is not like fast food. I mean, it's I, fast food, I know, but... I know, I know. I, I just, I... I feel like we've got to do that sometime, now. Would you do it? I mean, or you're just... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> that's his. Uh, that's his uh, restaurant of choice. When we, you know, where you guys want to go out to eat? Yeah, let's go to Culver's. Of course. Works there. He probably gets a discount for himself. At he least. does. Mm -hmm. He does. But he conveniently forgets his money at home when he has to work. So <laughs> then, when you pick him up and he wants to get the food, then dad. Yeah. Dad. And my nephew got a job at Dairy Queen. He, all he talks about is he gets a one free ice cream and one free meal. It's always the same thing. You know, he gets a burger or something and then some kind of well, that's good shake yeah. or something. But very good kickoff. Down about the 10-yard line. One cut. Stays on his feet. He's going to stay still up. on his feet. He's going to cross midfield into Blackhawk territory. So 43-yard return for the Warriors. And they have a little threat going here. Nice kick return. They will start in Blackhawk territory. So it's just that one window that sits in front of you that's that's really kind of slimy. It is really bad. Yeah, I tried cleaning it off from the outside of Dent, and uh, it's yeah, I can't see anything out of it. No, because when it was closed, I I was looking through yeah, this window in front of me. Yours was great. Decent. <laughs> yours was decent. <laughs> now you've opened it, and now I get the I get the cloudy one. You again. don't watch anyway. First and goal from the 45. Toss, Hopke, cuts up. How are your papers? Gonna get about four yards. I don't know where that one went. <laughs> <laughs> Hopke, Tackle is made by Venetdahl and others. 
so I mean the last possession you couldn't really count much of a possession for Amy when you're pinned back and your own one yard line especially conditions right. like this it's tough you're just hoping to get a couple yards so you can and and you can see that side of the field a little clearer most of the actions been to our left mm -hmm. um, how does the side the I mean there hasn't been much going on but that side of the field looks pretty tore up too well, that's where they're warming up so Hopke up the middle I think you got a score update on your phone. Well, maybe Hush I did, did too. Hold on. And, and, uh, that's the thing, especially with Hopke. You better hit him low or you're going to slip off of him right now. Yeah, the problem is, is if you hit him low, he might just run through you run, as well. Yeah. Third and six. Amy Warriors. Trying to put something together here offensively. A little toss here to Hopkins. He's going to get the first, first nice little block there. He does get right around to that 35-yard line. I think he's going to get across it. Across the 35, and I believe, and they signal it is the first down, Warriors. So again, his freshman quarterback, Logan Dotson. Um, and he's, a, he's a bigger kid, too, huh? What is he measuring at? 5'6". No, that can't be him. See, they had, now it's Carter Wallen. Carter Wallen's out there now as the quarterback. He's taking a snap. He tosses. Come this way. Oh, oh nice job getting it from behind there as well. Haldorf. Yeah, we, I mean, the numbers here are going to be a. Uh, you lost, that wasn't safe. Yep. You lost is number two. He is their second or third leading rusher behind Hopke and Wallen. Carter Wallen is is that quarterback again? Takes a snap, tosses a hop or not, not Hopke. That's 22. He trips up over over Hopke actually, and that was number 22, Keaton Wallen. That is the younger brother of Carter Wallen, and they do have Seth Wallen, spelt different, not related. Third and about two yards for Amory. Again, a kickoff that brought him into Blackhawk territory down to the 45. Looking to get their second first down here and get things rolling offensively. Yeah, Hopke the tailback this time. Well, that looked like a full start to me. Huh? Hopke gets it, lowers the shoulder. He's going to be short by about a yard, I believe. Sure enough. They're going to mark him about a half yard, yard short. Fourth and one. I mean, you got you got to think that a QB sneak is, is tough to stop, but it's tough to get traction going. Well, if you can, if you can get Koi Hopke pushing from the back. Yeah, that too. I don't know if I'd want that as a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd want that if I was Carter Holmes' basketball coach. Instead, they give him a little quick dive. It looks like the ball is loose, maybe. Or the ball is loose, or they stop him. Well, they're coming in. They look, they, they look like he's just shy of that. I think he had to get all the way to the 25-yard line. Oh, I I think he, he had to have got that based on the replay. They don't have any challenges. He looked he looked over the line from my vantage point. They say no? From the vantage point of the guy wearing a white hat, he says he did not make it. Turnover on downs, and Blackhawks will take over on their own 25 and a half. Yard line, 8.18 to go here in the first half. Huh. And <laughs> coach is pleading to yeah, stripes I'm about how he's uh, he was across the line. Yeah. Yep, that one was one that, and you know, officiating's hard and seeing where exactly where the ball is, knowing where the forward progress was stopped, all of those things are extremely difficult. Good luck finding the ball. Ooh. That's best right now. Rice Lake up 14 to eight on Prescott. Prescott was winning eight to six. Up the middle. Credit a couple. Like a water bottle over now even. Who who carried that one? Uh, was it Holder or is it Johansson that was back there? Holder. Yeah, that was the Tatum. Holder. Give him two inside eight minutes. 
Vonikin does a little fashion work there on all those shoulder pads and it's low snap and oh the ball is loose and Taden's crawling to it. A little um, mud wrestling going on there. We got a couple wrestlers out there including Haldor. Crawls for it. Probably, probably the head up looking to see where that number 28's at. Yeah. <laughs> as good a wrestler as Taden is, I don't know if he's got too much of a chance against uh, Koi Hockey. I think Taden and Colton Hush together have a good chance against Koi Hockey. Did we gain a yard on that play? Uh, he did crawl after the ball, so I guess he did bounce forward. That means, that means that the line was successful. <laughs> yeah. Up the middle of Jackson Johansson. Jump cut, but he's going to get out to the 30. Give him about a yard or two. Will be a fourth down. Blackhawks will attempt their first punt here tonight. Uh, I mean... Our snaps tend to float a little bit. Everything tends to float. Especially today, yep. Cameraman Ambrose going to take care of that watermark there. He's going to have to live in the elements because we need a clear shot. So the window's always got to be open in front of him. That is a... Nice job of getting it off. That's, that's, a, that's a great bang, punt. Yeah. It's a great punt. The bounce fielded at the 28-yard line. Lowers the shoulder, and back to about, nice return though, all the way out to the 46 yard line of the Warriors, where they will take over again with 6.12 to go, trailing 14 to zero. Nielsen's Foods has been serving community since 1903. We offer full service caribou coffee, bakery, deli, and meat departments. We pride ourselves with our award winning Nielsen's Market Meats and our friendly staff. Nielsen's vision is to build a strong family of customers and employees by delivering superior service to our customers, offering employee growth opportunities reinvesting in our stores and serving our communities. And if you're out at Nielsen's tomorrow, stop and stop at Caribou, get some coffee from uh, Mar and the Barista. Man, everyone's working them out. Yeah, gotta. Did you charge them rent? I should. Out the middle, Hopke. Goes nowhere. I know last year we did a really good job of bottling him up, too. Sophomore year, he uh, he ran for a lot of yards. Credit a yard, second and nine, and Duchesne on the tackle. Inside of six minutes to go here in the first half. Rain still coming down. Looks must be Wallen in there again. He's tall. Yep. Hop up the middle. Can't Who held on to him? Who did that? Is that Colin? Nice, nice uh, grabbing the feet and that's number like black. Cool. <laughs> that's either is that Gavin? Seventeen. That's Jackson Johansson. He's got, he's got a number on the front. So Johansson, I believe it was, uh, had him wrapped around my ankle and didn't held let on, go. And held on for dear life. Reinforcements came. Give him another yard. Third and eight for Emery. Emery yet to attempt to pass. Correct. Correct. Again, I. Third man through. He's, he's got a gap. He's got a gap. Makes a guy miss. He's across on about the 40. Looks almost like a, a new trap. It's kind of like almost like a, like a cross buck almost. Yeah. They sent, the, they sent Hopke, to, Hopke to the left, I believe, and Newhouse goes to the right. Kind of a cross buck, a counter. A lot of those. Fullbacks will key on that, or linebackers will key on that. Hopke, and he goes one way. He's either usually getting the ball or lead blocking. Ball and fakes this time. Ooh. He's going to slip and he's going to pick up a couple yards on first down. His first rushing attempt. And he is their second leading rusher. And someone comes in for Amy. <laughs> That's someone that's, I think that's someone that's played before, yeah, Yuhas is is the one that's completely covered. You know, I would hate to be one of the huddle employees that has to tag all these plays with players. Yuhas is in motion, does get a toss, gets to the edge, makes a guy miss somehow, cuts, and he's got Monik in the beat. 
Monikin does drag him down. Not before getting inside the 10-yard line. Good run by Juhas. Got a toss, got the edge. Made one cut, but could not run away from Monikin. First and goal, Amory. Blackhawks did have the, did receive the opening kickoff, so Amory will get it first in the second half. Juhas five carries for 55 yards. Hopke nine carries for 18. Hopke is behind Wallen. He gets a good start. Maybe almost too good because he, he's he's almost starting before the ball snapped, and then he's stopping. Yeah, it looks like he's got really good ball get off. But then I mean he's almost too fast, like or he gets he's stopping to get the ball as opposed to you you're going and getting the ball through. Big guy like that, you don't want him stopping his momentum. Right. You also like him to stay lower too. I mean he obviously understands leverage. You're you're not a all nation toss. Uh oh, he's gonna get down and the arms go up and that is touchdown. Amy Warriors number twenty two. Keaton Wallen, freshman, younger brother of the quarterback, in for Amory. 2.48 to go. It's 14 to 6 now. And I don't think. Yeah, he had a few carries. You know, he was their leading receiver, actually. He's the one that's leading the team with three catches and 54 <laughs> yards on the season. Well, gets a toss there. and He's going to start on the varsity basketball team this year, I'd assume. They got a. Big, good young crowd coming back, and they are attempting an extra point here. This could be interesting. You got a number on that guy? Number eight. Snap down, kick is up, and it's going to be short, and <laughs> Jackson Johansson wants to get a point. However, again, he cannot do that in high school. Maybe next year. But... They do get on the board here at 2.48 to go, now trailing 14 to 6. The Firehelm Langer is a CPA firm with offices in Baldwin, Ellsworth, and River Falls. At Firehelm Langer, our clients are our top priority. We offer the skills and expertise of a large CPA firm combined with the personal attention and responsiveness of a smaller firm. When you partner with us, we take the time to get to know you, understand your goals, and build a lasting professional relationship. We invite you to turn to us at Firehelm Langer for bookkeeping services, payroll services, financial projections, tax preparation, tax planning, and all of your accounting and tax needs. The market is changing. Take advantage of our combined 30 plus years of experience to guide you through it. Call Don at 715-684-9541 or Andrew at 715-928-0410 of Timberman Realtors for all your realty needs. Now let's play a little game. Where in the world is Don tonight? Because I bet you he ain't here. So where, what warm place is Don sitting right now and how quickly I, I, I will somebody you, let me know? I'll give you three different options maybe. One of them might be in Wilson. Okay. Right down the road from a guy that usually texts us some scores. Yeah, I don't think he's there. Okay. Um, is he visiting uh, Nikowski, possibly? Beanedahl picks it up about the 15. Going to get it back to the 20. And the Blackhawks with 243 to go take over. And the other thing to mention, I mean, I get nothing, nothing against Monikin, but when, when you lose your quarterback, no matter who it is. Right. It kind of takes a big deflator on the whole team. Absolutely. You know, like, oh, no. And again, it's not like they don't have a confidence in, in Graydon, but it's, it's. I mean, you're but one the, of your... Yeah, and the reality is 90, 90 probably 95% of the practice reps are with Cal at quarterback. Correct. And it's not even so much that, um, you know, Cal's playing receiver. Or, excuse me, Graydon's playing receiver, so. Back to pass. Uh-oh. Oh, he does try and try and find Sal, and Wallen does slip and fall about the 40. Otherwise, he might have uh, had that. It's it's tough to adjust. I mean, like like again, Gavin's basically running a fly route. Right. It's it's be tough for him to plant and come under the ball, and as he saw even Carter there. And we have the wind, right? That's how the w flag appears to be blown, left to right, yep, on, right. Our, on yep. our screen. Yep. Going pretty good down there. Rain's coming down almost straight, but its legs blow pretty good. Speed sweep, hush, trying to get that edge. Lowers his shoulder, and I believe he's going to have a first down out to the 30-yard line. 
He crosses it, Colton Hush, with 2.30 to go in the first half. A little disappointed, have not received a picture of Don. I thought someone would have. Well, now you want a picture, you just wanted to know. Well, I, I mean, I feel like that's how you prove that you know where Don is, you send me a picture well, of Well, normally we run off your. your oh! Uh, no. What is. He, he get an answer. I noticed Don's not here because the clock is uh, starting and stopping correctly. <laughs> In true Don fashion, his response to me is Here I am. <laughs> He's not going to give it up. Second and ten for the Blackhawks. Is that the trainer coming across here? Push Looks like it. Is he coming across for... So I'm wondering, is he... Oh, it's look, looks like he's coming across to Dad here. Is that Dad? Cal and Terry? Yeah. Or Doug and Terry? So the trainer for whoever comes across is talking to Cal. So we, ooh. Quick pass. Slip, and we I heard we have a flag on a play. This would be our first flag. Must be an obvious one. What happened on first down? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh, Hush on the speed sweep. No, that was, that was on our... No, he got to the 30. Yeah, it was Hush. We did it again? Yeah. How can you have an offside? You have to pull that dead, don't you? Is he lined up on the... It doesn't matter. I thought you had to pull that dead. Second and 15 for the Blackhawks. Well, we, f we found Don. Oh, my gosh. I, I was close. I said he'd be Aiden Wilson. Shout out to... Uh, to the Clats for welcoming Don in. Did, taking did, did taking they welcome him in, in or did he just walk in? I, I mean, walked in is probably... Low snap. I believe that's Johansson. Back across the original line of scrimmage and there's a almost a rugby scrum going there. You got about 19 players in there. With a minute 13 to go. Amory will take their first time out of the half. Looking to try and get a stop here on third down and get the ball back. They do have some momentum. Somerset 24, Osceola 0 currently, according to, according to Mike Feedy. And we got that picture of Don, courtesy of Tim Klatt. Where in the world is Don? And we have an answer. <laughs> it's going to be a new, uh, a new weekly tradition if, if we are at a game and he is not in the press box or at the scores table. Good old Mr. Timmerman. Obviously, he's not working. His kid's out probably selling houses right now or showing a house, but Don's sitting there collecting a paycheck. Yep, yep that's how it works. And then and then drinking Clats Gatorades. Yep. When we come back, it's going to be about third and uh, long six for the Blackhawks. Long conversation down here at the trainer and... Uh, the Smiths, and then I, they're going to walk around, so I don't know. So We got a text from an official that says, yeah, if, if uh, you were right with the call it dead. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's you call it you call any kind of pre-snap penalty offsides on either team. So did dead. they say that we'd line up in the neutral zone? Is that their... It do, it, so you, if, if you line up in neutral zone, it's supposed to be low and dead. We'll ask them at halftime. They're coming down below us. I'll ask them. Monica fumbles a snap. Go throw it, throw it, and Sal slips. Finds it in the in the hands of uh, half, I believe. No, sorry, that's 21. That's Caden Meyer. I saw the two. So, minute four to go. Warriors turn over the Blackhawks and are inside the 40-yard line. Trailing by eight, two time loss remaining for the uh, Warriors. Looking to strike. Yeah, now you just got to get the stop. I mean, I, I here's where if you got any kind of a halfback pass or a little trick play here, I'd like to see. I mean, if you're an Amory fan, getting getting Cruz Uhas out in the out wide, Hopkey out in space. Hopke gets out in space. Skate kind of hollows over this guy and. Picks up three to four yards. They gotta go fast here. Yeah, that's the downside is as you see Wallen running across to get a play. 
big difference in the two teams there is we already up there probably snapping the ball right now and we got we got a split here to the bottom. Wallen, snap, toss. That's you, Haas. Follow right? Hopkins block, and the timeout here with 28 seconds to go. We'll be third and about three yards at the 34 yard line, 33 yard line. Precision Truck Service is a full service heavy truck and trailer repair shop located in Baldwin and offering all types of general repair for heavy truck and trailer, diesel, mobile service alignments, computer diagnostics, welding and fabrication, and sandblasting. As a Michelin heavy truck tire dealer, we offer best in pricing on Michelin, BFG, and Unirail tire brands, balancing and installation. Give us a call at 715-760-0768 or stop in. We are located conveniently on the north side of Baldwin under the water tower. And that does it for first half ads. Well... Good. We only have 20 seconds left. And last, we get a turnover. We already had, like, we had one. I, I know, but if we that. get another turnover. I didn't even think about the first one. I know. You were. We got so, so much stuff going on. Sorry to that sponsor, I guess. Yeah. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. <laughs> Jordan, yeah. Jordan Lehman went to miss that. Nope. Nope. Jordan also has, uh, he's only going to be a spot guy during the, the football or the basketball season. He's, big, you know. Big boy jobs getting away yeah, sometimes. He's, you got a life now, and it's a fantastic job. Yeah, he 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 makes it fun. So you're just gonna have third, to deal with me. Third and four. Warriors, 28 seconds to go. Hopke on the toss. He will cross and pick up that first down, I believe. Yeah. They stop it with 23, and they gotta hurry. Someone's coming in. No one's coming out. Or is that? Wallen just got I think he play. just runs Spike. over and gets a play. And they've now attempted a pass. So what's going on here? They're, they're, they're going to talk about this. Yeah, they, they weren't set. Maybe a warning or something. I don't know. But I mean, a lot of times when you rush something like that, you're, you're maybe not set. So... First pass attempt for the Warriors falls incomplete. Second and ten. I mean the right end maybe a yep. little bit, but it wasn't I didn't think that was too bad. What is happening here? What does, what happened there? I have no idea. Did they give him a timeout almost? It still shows second down. Board says first down. Guy says second down. Up the middle. Gonna be down about 25 and it'll be the last timeout for Amory with 11 seconds to go. Is that hockey? I no, that was uh, 22 wall on, I believe. Wall on. Credit him with four or five, depends if you're generous. I gave him four. I guess that means I'm not. I'm so did the board. So. All right, so what are you what are you doing here with a team that? I mean, I right now I'm I'm taking Gavin because he's tall. I'm taking an owl height wise your D backs. Cal, I mean, Monica, maybe he's a little bit taller. Planting him on the goal line right now. Just because you got to get to the goal line. And there's traction back there. Hope that the front nine guys can bring someone down, but you got to expect some kind of halfback pass, some kind of just throw it up to the end zone. You know, and what, what's tough is if you're running with the receiver and you got to try and adjust. Correct. The receiver might be able to keep their feet, or if you're already back there, you don't, you don't have to adjust. You can, you know, you're. You can move a lot easier if you're standing still. You can get going, but once you get going, it's tough to yeah, change. We, sure. do have, we do have trips down here to the left, hand, left side, so it's, it's going to go up. Is it, or are they going to try to beat a seven on it? we got Hopke over there, and, and uh, Coach Kiefer's going to use one of his two timeouts. And like, like I said, so are we going to throw it up to you – know, Wallen's pretty big here. Got the Wallen to Wallen connection. Probably yeah, not the first time they played catch. Um, 
I'd say that's a that's a that's a fairly good take that you had there. <laughs> <laughs> um, now that we have a timeout, did you see where Doug and Terry went? Did they return to their seats? Oh, well, I see, them, I see them hauling off uh, Mr. Cal Smith over there on the track right now. So he's getting hobbled off. I'm guessing they're going to be maybe bringing him in somewhere to get some X-rays or. Um, I don't know if that's de them hauling him off, but Dang. I did see uh, Doug walk around to go over to him. Yeah, I think they're driving maybe over there. Yeah. So not good news if you're anyone. You if you're a football see, fan. Yeah, you never, never see anyone get hurt at all, but uh, the senior quarterback, Cal Smith, it's going to be, it appears to be night is done. And, Quad, quads this way, single to the right side. They're just going to throw it to it in space. Yeah, that's double a, pass, that's double pass. Nope. Okay, nope. But Hopkins he only makes a couple miss. One. Yeah, it's brilliant. He's got to run a couple over now. Out of bounds, though, with two seconds left. Nice job there of, of clock management by, by Coy Hopke. And now, I mean, pick up first down, not that that matters, but down to the 15, much more manageable. I mean, I'd see some almost the same, uh, same setup. And yeah, then, and, and then throw it back to the single receiver side, maybe. But the 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 brilliance here is that no, no, we got Carter Wallen going out wide. Carter Wallen's wide. We have, we have no. This is number eight. No, Jake, eight Jacob. through that pass. Okay, eight is, through the last pass. Is him throwing this one again too now? And oh. that's a little head start there. I mean, so now you got Carter Wallen, who, if you watch any hardwoods, you know that kid can jump. Is he over on the, the top of the screen? Yep, he's the one-on-one -on -one matchup with with yeah, uh, Venus all right now. But, but Gavin was kind of over with him as well. You know, I, like on that one, if you're going to have Gavin over there, bring up Vienendahl, bump him, bump him at the line, take a chance as a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, it's sure, but if you put two guys over on him, now you're 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 playing basically man-to-man -man on, on hockey. We got, four, we got three over here with Jackson over top. You got Sell over top on the back side. Nobody in the middle. Yeah, there's nobody in the middle, though. Oh, he's he, gonna throw this way. To try to. That's gonna be picked, picked off. Oh, oh dropped. I don't know if he intended to drop that one or if he tried to pick it off. But regardless, first quarter comes to an end. Blackhawks score twice, convert on one of the two point conversions, get 14. Amory comes back, cuts it to 14-6, and that's where you sit at halftime. We will see you in about 15 minutes.
Welcome back to Amory High School. About to start half number two here. Baldwin the Blackhawks leading Amory 14 to six after one half of play. Nick, what were your impressions there of half number one? Sloppy as we expected. I mean, not sloppy play, just uh, sloppy field leads to sloppy conditions. Um, Baldwin was successful early with a couple passes, but uh, quick passes, and again, it's, it's no cutting when you're a receiver. Um, Got out the quick 14 nothing start. Amory did answer with a nice kick return and a couple, you know, 45 yard drive to get within six. I was really surprised to see them kick an extra point or attempt. Yeah, that was I silly. Mean, if you make one and then then what you gonna try and make a second one to tie it or you're gonna go over two then I I don't understand the logic on that one. Um, we're in store for a, a big second half. Um, obviously, if you're joining us late or just now joining us. Senior quarterback Cal Smith will not be returning. We're assuming tonight he was injured in their second, third possession. Um, kind of hobbled off and since then was taken off um, in getting x rays on shin, lower leg, yep. something like that. Uh, so obviously, hopefully, Cal is healing and in good spirits and he's here with these guys. And it's next man up, which is Grade Monikin. We have seen him, like you mentioned, he has a thumb injury. Perhaps struggled with some receiving some snaps, throw off some, throw off a timing. The timing is a big right. thing when you run this fake jet sweep, jet sweep up the middle, all that stuff, and the timing is just not there. And hopefully they can work through that and get the timing issues done. March the ball. It's you know we've seen a turnover, what one each, I think. Yeah, we threw an interception. They fumbled a, a snap. So I mean, there's you know who can hang on to that ball? Amory does get it first to start the second half. But uh, if a team can go without turning the ball over in the second half, I give them the advantage Absolutely. here in these conditions. Yep. Yeah, and, and we haven't seen, you know, we were talking during halftime, and, and for you at home, have seen the same thing. Almost all of the first half activity has happened on the left side of the field. So you can see where the Hawks are standing right now, just a, a mud pit. The right side of the field looks a little more grassy. I mean, I'm, it's still going to be wet, but... Hopefully we can see some football down on that side of the field where guys maybe will be able to keep their footing. Gus set the kick off. Does kick it deep. About the 15 yard line. And there's a little slip. It cuts. Gonna be out just shy of the 40. Did he? He did fumble. I think he was down when he. Yeah, I'll uh. Coy picked up the ball, and that he's not getting up right now. That's not good. That's what happy? No. I want to say that. I hope it's oh, a no. He got rolled up. Oh, boy. That's uh, Cruz Juhas. His number two? Yeah, he, he got tackled, and his no. leg kind of rolled up underneath him. You know, we did. We were talking also off air. There's, there's not going to be the injuries of, of guys where, you know, your foot's getting stuck in the ground and you're getting hit. But when, when people are slipping and sliding, it's, it's pretty easy to roll up. On places that. The momentum usually wouldn't, continue. But with the field being so slick, he's up now. That, that's good to see, see how much. Weight he puts on the, that, leg of his. He is there. Leading rusher today so far, I believe, right? Yeah, 58 yards on six carries. Had a nice kick return in the first half. This one, I don't know, I'm pretty good in there. And he's not putting any weight on the leg right now, either leg. But I suppose he's only about five, five foot, maybe. <laughs> he's got yeah, he's that of those coaches are nice and tall. And carry him off, and trainer will stay busy here in Amory. Yeah, and those guys just sliding across. First and ten, up the middle, Hopke. Going to get out to about the 40-yard line. Give him two, three yards there on first down. Again, I think the Blackhawks have done a great job of bottling him up. He didn't really get to one kind of toss where he got it. Uh, and then uh, the quick pass was in yep. out here. Yeah, through 13 carries, he's had 29 yards. His longest run is six. He did catch that one pass for 11. That was a false start there. Yeah, that's a uh, so it. As a false start, I don't know <laughs> what we're waiting for here, but 
There it is. There. Wing back there. He's going a little fast. I'll call this a veteran crew. I won't call them all, but they're veteran crew. So maybe it's a little slower. And it's colder. Yeah. Things move a little bit slower. It's tougher to grab that hanky with gloves on, too. Just blow the whistle. I don't need to throw the flag, just blow the whistle. Second and 12, after the five yard penalty. Second and 13, I'm going to call it. But Toss. Well, it looks like a hole in the backfield there, but. It's spun around to the ground there. Hopke, back across the original line of scrimmage, it'll be third and long for Amory. So they dig deep into their bag of tri tricks and come up with another run here? We did look and according to West Sports, what I say, 15 completions on the year coming yep. into it. So obviously not the greatest throwing conditions and you only have 15 to start the game. Not your strength. Toss again. Just to cut up and gonna cross the 40. Up to about the 42, but it will be fourth and about six yards or so, and the punt unit will come out for Emory and the Blackhawks. If they can escape without a penalty here, we'll was that force the three and out. That was Hopkey again? Yes. Last time we, we received a punt, Gavin Gavin slipped immediately after catching it. Good snap. Snap, good. Ooh. Nah, good that's punt this time. It's good bounce at the 50. Ooh. It was almost too bad. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're getting our gunner that. Yeah. It's too bad he, uh, is it Nelson? Yeah. Right? If he sees that, he's the only one on the side of the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he can pick it up clean, but he heard scatter or whatever they use, word they use, and he's running the sideline, but looking the other direction. So not a very good punt, but uh, Blackhawks take over. First and 10 on their own 41-yard line. It looks like it's getting real gusty out there, just judging by the, uh, the dozens of umbrellas that I'm seeing. Flying. Everybody starts to look like they're moved to the right. Up the middle, Johansson. Kind of up the middle. Brought down by a couple different Warriors. Wallen in there, Hopke in there, and then some guy that's completely pin. covered. Second and nine for the Blackhawks, open possession here in the second half after forcing a three and out. Million dollar in motion, he's going to get it, and try and get the edge. Does Slip. try and cut it up and slips down about the 45 yard line. That's a, that's a disadvantage of the speed sweeps. Is you, 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 at some point you gotta get upfield, and right. we do tend to like to run to the boundary a lot. That makes it a lot harder on these conditions because you don't have as much room to get going that way. But third and six. But the, I mean, in theory, the 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 boundary or at least the hash to the sideline should be the part of the field that's in the best shape. Reading all again on the speed sweep. Not gonna go anywhere. Good job of letting up there. It's tough to it's tough to let up when your, your momentum's carrying you on, on this grass, but so a loss of a couple in the Blackhawks will go three and out on their holding possession second half. Back to about the forty three yard line. Croning back to punt again. We've seen both teams with a couple of good punts and Couple that have bent up. It's a, a bad a snap. Does it, just getting it off is a, is, a, is, is tough. Good job of avoiding it. Gets a nice roll for the Blackhawks. Gus Cronin just just getting the punt off there was very successful, and it turns out to be a very good punt net-wise too. So, with 8:14 to go in the third quarter, Blackhawks leading 14 to eight. I want to thank all of our sponsors here at Blackhawk TV one more time. Baldwin Greenhouse, Firehelm Langer, Nielsen's Foods, St. Croix Garage Door, Strikers Lanes and Sports Bar, Timmerman Realty, Wisconsin Credit Union, St. Croix Custom Apparel, Baldwin Lighthouse, Baldwin Lighthouse, come on, Jeremy, Baldwin Lightstream, CW Garage Door Distribution, Fenner & Jewelers, Schaefer Financial Services, Blackhawk Garage Door, O'Connell Funeral Homes, Precision Truck Service, Precision es Excavating Enterprises, and I will pick this up after the play. 
up the middle. And a scrum there. I want to thank the rest of them here. A Star Concrete, Culver's of Baldwin Family Cairo Care, TMS Auto, Halverson Concrete Solutions, White Cap Financial Advisors, Pete's Construction, American Family Insurance, Village Pharmacy, OEM Fabricators, and Western Wisconsin Health. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors. Cut it one yard on Hopke there for first down. Still yet to get going. Second and nine. Amory's second possession. Both teams going three and out. There's that kind of triple eye counter again. Is that Hopke again? Yes, it is. Down to the 25 yard line. Third and five for Amory. Yeah, they had. Oh. Uh, is that with you, Haas, they had back out there. I, I don't, see I don't think so. Is that him sitting right here I in front of us? I, I so. see someone with a leg up here right in front of us yeah. by the ice shack. Yeah, he added a nice element to the. Hopke, you gonna try and get the edge? Get Tough to bring him down. down. He is uh, across the 30, I believe, and they move the chains, and Koi Hopke picks up the first down for the Amy Warriors. I mean, I, I mean, not obviously. He's a good running back, but Wallen, we've seen the younger Wallen carried a couple times, which I don't know how often he's done it this year. But uh, he's a big boy too. Yeah. yeah. He's carried it three times, 11 yards. He had the touchdown. Hopkins, 18 carries for 47. Here's that stacked eye again. We're gonna tape Uhas up. Third man through. Pick up about four. It'll be second, second and six, second and seven. There they are. Wrapping an ankle down here. There's Ben Wallen all, all half here. And a quarterback that had three different quarterbacks actually. There's a counter again, kind of always bounces off a guy, runs through a guy, and now he's going to carry one across midfield. Hush. Gives Hush two points for a takedown there. Not happen very often to hockey, but uh, inside Blackhawk territory, another first down, Warriors. First and 10 from the 48. Yeah, and I, I think that's ultimately what, what they're hoping is, is going to happen, right? They It's running clock in, in Hudson right now. But uh, that's, that's a nice sound to hear right there. They're uh, they're just trying to get him to break one off and ooh, kind of is that Wallen right there? Must be. I don't know if Hopkins can jump that high. <laughs> I'm sure he probably can. But yeah, you're right. And that's no disrespect to Richmond. I, I coach Larson up there and a great season and glad to see him do it, but. I personally know all the coaches in Hudson. That's where I came coached at. And nice to see them going to take the big rivers. And they, they're they undefeated. In the big the, rivers. They, they lost. They lost, uh, I want to say, Arrowhead or someone like that. Week one or two. And Hopke Nur up the middle. Richmond had been undefeated. Richmond was 8-0. Was oh. no. Hudson the 7-1. and one. Across the middle border conference, we do have uh, summer... Uh, Somerset leading over Osceola pretty handily. St. Croix Central handling Ellsworth in Central. And I believe Rice Lake is... They were it was 14-8 to eight last I heard. Prescott had been ahead and then Rice Lake took the lead. I haven't heard an update on that one lately, but third and four for the Warriors. That triple I again. Third man through. Hopke this way. Stiff arm. He's going to have a first down. Tries a stiff arm the next one, but I think it's Haldorf this time. But not before crossing the 35, Coy Hopke. And he's starting to get going. Yeah, all of a sudden he went from, uh, what, 18 for 47 to 22 for 82. But now he's almost getting the carries that Uhoff was, was getting, where, like, off tackle. Right. You know, he, before he was getting the dive up the middle and we were gang tackling him. Now he's kind of getting that edge and making one stiff arm. It's triple eye again. It will be Hopke, this time up the middle. Runs over a guy inside the 30. 
four or five yards of crack, and you're going to end up in the end zone pretty quick here. <laughs> yep. Holdorf on the tackle, but not before picking up six. Coy Hopke. Rice like 28 to eight at half. It's possible that Koi Hopke carries it 40 times a night. Here's one more. 24. Trying to get off the edge. Oh, we missed a stiff arm and hush. He will rip him down. No gain. Third and a long four. Definite four down territory here for the Amy Warriors. Uh, you don't think they're going to try to kick a field goal? Uh, they tried the extra point, but... They come up shy from the 10 yard line. I don't know. Yeah. And it wasn't just shy. I mean, yeah. it, they both traveled about yeah. 12 yards through the air. Not a stack die, kind of a wishbone there. Counter, and that's Wallen, I believe. He's going to have a first down, down to about the 20 yard line. That was not Hopke, was it? That's definitely not Hopke. Hopke's coming this way. That was Wallen. Yeah, and he comes hobbled up. His brother says, You're, Hey, Get uh, back in here. Yeah, it wasn't Where are you going? But it is. I, I thought. Oh, you're saying it was an eight to hit him? Someone hit him. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't Carter. Okay. Carter was jogging out. I mean, he hands the ball off and then starts jogging to the field to see what the next play is. Second man through. Ooh, did he get it to him? He did. This one is wall again. Good yards on first down there, down to about the 16-yard line. Pick up four more. That's the second man through. When he, it, when Carter gave it to him. He kind of turned like he almost didn't get it in his belly. I don't know if he did. But. Well, I think that just that element of surprise, you're trying to avoid that second guy because he's usually blocking you. Mm -hmm. The mud, the football, the same color. Stacked eye here again now. This time it is a third man through. Hopke. I don't know. See, I heard I heard someone yelled on their quarterback. I mean, he, he, at some point he just faked that to him, and and I mean, he's running off this way to get a play, almost like he's coming off to get a play and just wheeling around, right? Like naked bootleg. Third and five, Warriors. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like there's a pretty good chance we're gonna see two more shots up the middle. I, I mean, if you're a Warrior fan, I'd I'd like to see him go again off tackle. Have much more success when he gets out there. Oh, it's passed. It is, it is. Carter rolling out wide open. He hauls it in. I can't see who he is. I think it's number eight. But there was that Bahika bootleg. We talked about it. Yep. Carter could have maybe actually ran it, but <laughs> he had a wide open receiver. Six points for the Warriors. Two-point conversion coming with an attempt to tie it. Right now it's Baldwin 14, Amory 12. So that was number eight. eight. And that's name, kid's name is Jacob. Jacob Maxson. Maxson. That's their other quarterback. So a two-point attempt. Big one here. A minute 33 to go in the third quarter. It's going to be a toss. Hopkins hitting the yeah, backfield. Yeah. He goes nowhere. So denied the two-point conversion. And the Blackhawks will maintain the lead by the slimmest of margins. It's 14 to 12 with 133 to go here in the third quarter. And I'm going to read you about St. Croix Garage Doors, providing Western Wisconsin top quality garage door sales service and installation. Probably serving Baldwin, Woodville, Hudson, Richmond, River Falls, Stillwater, Menominee, and surrounding areas. Give Brian a call today at 715-781-8989 for a quote install or service. Since 1935, Baldwin Greenhouse has been serving Baldwin and the surrounding areas by offering the freshest flowers, plants, and gifts for any occasion. Some of the flowers and many of the plants are grown right on site. They'd love to help with anything you need. Give them a call at 715-684-2104 or visit online at baldwingreenhouse.com. Precision Excavating Enterprises is a full-service excavating, grading, and trucking contractor located in Baldwin, offering all types of residential and commercial earth-moving septic systems, demolition, landscaping, driveways, and building sites. Our trucking division offers dump truck, grain, hopper, and flatbed hauling services. 
sand gravel fill delivery. Serving the Baldwin and surrounding western Wisconsin areas, give us a call 715-760-0768 for free estimates. So 12, 12 on the entry for Emory. That's been 12 on the entry since Cal's left also. We really haven't gotten much going. Um, that was probably the most successful drive Emory's had. But then they've had two scoring drives. Unsuccessful on the first point after try and a two-point conversion failed. So, ooh, slip and fall. Just get on it. You got six guys wearing, supposedly wearing white out there. Kind of getting a huddle on the ball. Someone comes up with it. First yeah. and ten on your own 27. I mean, if I'm the kicker, I'm like, all right, I'm going to squib this towards one of those guys in clean white jerseys because they <laughs> they certainly haven't handled the ball. <laughs> and they're not warm. Uh, Rich Cota says, Hudson lost to Stevens Point. Point? Okay, I knew it was one of those bigger schools on the east. We got some football music here, huh? Like, this is a CBS theme song, or? There might that be. Is. NFL Today. First and ten, Black Ox. Looking to get something going here. Hush on the speed sweep. Does it? Look at cut it up. Makes the first guy miss. Good run by Hush. He's going to cross the first down marker. First down, Blackhawks. And that's a that's a jet into to the field. Field, yep. I mean, he, had, he had a little more. You can see him kind of slow down and kind of, okay, stop, stop, get up field. And I mean, there's just more real estate. Yeah, if you get way outside the hashes right now, you can get into some field. Yeah, I could see a, I mean, it's going to be. Fake up the middle, it's going to be up the middle, rather. Fake sweep. Good push. Good push there, yeah, exactly. Eight yards on first down. That was Hallbar there, wasn't it? I think so. Looking a little smaller than, than Johansson. Yeah, that's Taden Hallbar. Give him eight yards, second and two. Closing in on midfield. Hush in motion. Hallbarf again. Just kick it, and he slips down right at midfield, stopping the clock. They're going to mark him just shy of midfield, but another Blackhawk. First down there it is. I'm gonna say it's close, but uh, I'm spotting it where the line judge said to put it, but right on midfield. Two straight first downs for the Blackhawks. Looking to answer the Warrior touchdown here. Double slot. Fake up the middle is Monikin. Ooh, he Ooh, hits yeah, he hit two right. yards and and welcome to Koi Hopkins world. He's a little slow to get up, and he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have to run another play, so just let's relax. Okay. He's looking over, going, Coach Kiefer, um, let's, let's not do that yeah. play again. Yeah, he got Give me a yard, second and nine. They're going to probably fake this one. Well, they don't they drop back the pass. you have the wind. Rolling to his left, trying to throw. Uh-oh, that's intercepted. That's intercepting that one might go ways. That one might go a long ways. Amy Warriors down 20, 15, 10, 5. We got a new leader on the scoreboard. Rolled to his left, tried throwing across the body. Credit him with about a 55 yard interception return for a touchdown. It was 55 exactly. It was Wallen. And just like that, it's Amory 18, Blackhawks 14. And I uh, know it's triple zeros, but we will stay down on this end of the field for the point after try. Yeah, I think the, the ambition to run a, a, a play a play with, with the wind is is not worth it. I mean, you, yeah. it's I, second I, nine. I thought they were just trying to drive them off sides. But, I mean, we don't do that with on fourth and short or anything, but drops back wide open again. Touchdown, or sorry, two-point conversion is successful this time, number eight again. And Amory, that's a nice two-point conversion there. That's a big one that makes it a six-point game. Now leads 20 to 14 here in Amory. So 20 straight unanswered, including 14-0 in the third quarter. 
Members of Wisconsin Credit Union can access account information and take care of most everyday banking needs via Wisconsin Online, the mobile app, and text banking. Immediate access to your Wisconsin accounts is also available 24 hours a day via touchstone phone. Visit them at wisconsincu.org to learn more. A-Star Concrete Pumping is proud to be family owned and operated in Wisconsin. We pride ourselves on maintaining a high quality, unique fleet and very knowledgeable staff to complete all projects. From smaller residential projects to large scale commercial enterprises, A-Star Concrete Pumping has the equipment, staff and experience to handle all of your concrete needs. Contact them at 715-246-3920. Whether we're cooking the perfect butter burger to order or scooping up our freshest batch of the flavor of the day, we work hard to ensure you'll always leave happy. We know you have a lot to do and many options to choose from, so we appreciate when you take the time to visit Culver's of Baldwin. Now, Nick, what we have here with an Amory lead is an Amory squad that will get their third conference. Yeah, could, we, you know, I was, was going to say, we tried talking in pregame about the importance of this right. game for both sides. Right. Amory could, well, I mean, we'll get their third conference, looking for their third conference victory. Right. Which gives them a chance at a playoff. I um, would say a likely chance because a win against us would be a, a strong resume building win computer wise. So they're they're sitting there going, We we don't want to end our season yet. We want to play another game. Or possibly more. Uh oh. This is an onside, if you will. This is not a squibber, just get on the ball. Blackhawks will have good field position at the forty. And you get the Blackhawks who are again potentially playing for as high as a two, probably no lower than a three with a victory, but could slip down to out of a hosting. Maybe a four, probably a five uh, yeah. with a loss. And end up on the road again. So Yeah, we I mean, what's gonna happen is Ellsworth, Amory, Somerset would all be three and four in the conference and would likely go on the road. We're all gonna end up in the same region. You pull Altoona who's also three and four. And if that's the case, then yes, you would have a home game, but But yeah, that's all up to the computers then. Up the middle? Three, four yards out to the 44-yard line. I would... Uh, is that Taden or... Yeah. Yes, that is Haldorf. Got him with five yards, second and five for the Blackhawks. But this needs to be the best drive we've had all night. Yeah, need an answer. He's going to pull up Monaghan up the middle. He's got a lot of room. He's going to cross midfield, across the 45. Going to go down about the 42 and slides couple more yards. Slip and slide. Those are the fun days. He rode, he rode that mesh for probably a good second or two there and pulled it last second up the middle. Good run by Graydon. Yeah, and that's a, a confidence builder. Yeah, he needs that. First and ten. Back to Holder. He will cross the 40. You know what, with, with the push that our line's getting, we don't need to get cute. We just need to pound it. Yep. Four yards. You know, I mean, it's really hard, especially from where he's coming from. But, you know, we get that, that, that Gavin Cell reverse that we saw against Prescott. Yeah, for but sure. But it's so hard when you're coming. He's almost coming backwards to get the ball. Slipping. I can try to find room. He'll go nowhere. And there's another injured warrior here. I think it's the same guy, isn't it? Like, no, it's not. So we come back. It'll be about a third and seven for the, for the Blackhawks. Third and six here. 10.38 to go in the fourth quarter. Again, Amory 20 unanswered here. Leading 20. 14. Nielsen's Foods has been serving community since 1903. We offer full-service caribou coffee, bakery, deli, and meat departments. We pride ourselves with our award-winning Nielsen's Market Meats and our friendly staff. Nielsen's vision is to build a strong family of customers and employees by delivering superior service to our customers, offering employee growth opportunities, reinvesting in our stores, and serving in our communities. Firehelm Langer is a CPA firm with offices in Baldwin, Ellsworth, and River Falls. At Firehelm Langer, our clients are our top priority. We offer the skills and expertise of a large CPA firm combined with the personal attention and responsiveness of a smaller firm. When you partner with us, we take the time to get to know you, understand your goals, and build a lasting professional relationship. We invite you to turn to us at Firehelm Langer for bookkeeping services, payroll services, financial projections, tax preparation, tax planning, and all of your accounting and tax needs. Is that Carter? I can't tell any. They're all colored and dark. I think it, I mean, it looks like it might be Carter. Hold on, I don't know. It's 
would be their quarterback. And Third and six. Monikin. That's hush in motion. And off to a typical start there is other Vinan Dahl. It'll be a fourth and I'm oh sorry, not fourth. We don't lose a down on that. Third and eleven. Third and eleven. Running clock in Hammond, 36 to 0. Central over. It looks like the, has the rain kind of slowed or stopped. I, the umbrellas are gone. It does look. I don't see it coming down in the lights either. Third and 11, Blackhawks. Trailing. Hush in motion. A fake. Maybe a QB sweep. Does get the edge. He's got a first down. He might just sprint to the end zone. Wow. Monikin turns on the Jets. 43 yards. Great Monikin. Ties it at 20. 20 with 10, 22 to go. You gotta, you know, you talk about the, the the maybe 10, 15 yards on the side. All of a sudden he got some grass. He's like, wait a minute. Yeah. I can go. He turned it on and boom. Yeah, that was impressive. And at that point, too, I mean, everyone Amory is trying to change direction. Right. And you ain't going to catch catch him, alone, almost anyone there. This is a big play and now they're a big two-point conversion. i got to get where I can see. And I think You're good. Is it starting to rain again. And it's the same thing. QB sweep. You can try and get that edge. I don't. Oh, he dies. He and the it. arms go up. Much to the dismay of the coaching staff over here in red. Hits the pylon. Huge two-point conversion. Graydon Monikin back-to-back QB sweeps. And the Blackhawks are back on top, 22 to 20. The market is changing. Take advantage of our combined 30-plus years of experience to guide you through it. Call Don at 715-684-9541 or Andrew at 715-928-0410 of Timberman Realtors for all your realty needs. And you can call Don right now because he's just chilling watching a football game. Precision Truck Service is a full-service heavy truck and trailer repair shop located in Baldwin offering all types of general repair for heavy truck and trailer, diesel, mobile service, alignments, computer diagnostics, welding, fabrication, and sandblasting. As a Michelin heavy truck tire dealer, we offer best in pricing on Michelin BFG and Unirola tire brands, balancing, and installation. Give us a call at 715-760-0768 or stop in. We're located conveniently on the north side of Baldwin under the water tower. So, uh, you know, we talked about the confidence building run that he had early in that drive. Backed up, we're third and behind the sticks. And obviously the play call changed from a, well, maybe the play call the, didn't change. Because part we of that, didn't, didn't he have a run, like, I want to see before that on third, like seven or something like that, that got the first down, and then he had that long touchdown run, did he not? Yeah, the, yeah. he had the, the, the good run right. that we that I said, yep. you know, that's a confidence, confidence builder. builder. Kickoff is going to bounce. Roll down about 20. Picked up by what used to be a guy wearing red. He crosses the 30. Amory will have the ball. Trailing by two. 10 17 to go in the fourth quarter. Yeah, with the with the rain, I think the rain stopped. I think it's starting again. But it has definitely started again. You know, I can see it coming down now. But the umbrellas were mostly gone. I feel like the there was a little bit of life in the stands. Well, with, the, with the rain coming as hard as it is, the umbrellas probably aren't doing any good. They're probably That's soaked. They're like, you know what? Yeah. Let's get rid of it. Yep. Um, nice, nice job by Monica in there. Um, I might have been aided by the tackler because he kind of was on him and kind of slid forward. Yeah. His momentum took him and hit the pylon. Got to the pylon, which is impressive. And you can reach. You don't want to do that. Hopke up the middle. Brought down by a handful of Blackhawks. Yeah, you don't want to do that if it's uh, first and second or third down. Right. But on a two-point conversion, you got nothing to lose. If you fumble that ball, and the weirdest rule in football, if you fumble that ball into the end zone out of bounds, it's a, turn, it's a turnover, turnover touchback. Touch back, that's, yeah. that's the weird rule. And as long as you hit the pylon, you're good. I, don't, I mean, coach down here is arguing, and ref's like, first of all, you're looking from 40 yards away. Right. He's right there. Replay show to hit the pylon. Toss. Nice, nice. tackle. Nice the tackle. Gavin, Gavin Sell. TFL. Little momentum. You know, he hasn't 
been able to make many big plays offensively. Comes up with a huge play defensively there. Third and 11 for the Amy Warriors. Still plenty of time left if they were to not get it here. I would have to imagine they'd be fought away, but here's that stack die again. QB rolling out. He does try and roll out. However, they were there waiting for him this time. And he moves backwards about a half yard or so, and it's going to be fourth and a long so 11. who's playing quarterback? Because you had mentioned maybe. That was Wallen there. Okay, so Carter Wallen is definitely playing. And that was not him that was hurt because he's not. You can see his actual six. The other guy was, he could not see anything at all. They do have the wind here in the fourth quarter, does Amory, so. Bull snap. Gets it, gonna bounce and go end over end into Gavin's hands. About 32 yard line, makes the first guy miss. Gavin gets the speed, finds some grass. Oh, that's. And then brought down just shy of midfield. Blackhawks take over. First and 10. Great field position, a yard shy of midfield, leading by two with 8.16 to go in the fourth quarter. Strikers Lanes and Sports Bar at 780 Cedar Street in Baldwin offers something for everyone. If you're interested in the competition camaraderie of a team, come join one of the bowling leagues offering men, women, couples, seniors, and youth leagues that run from September through April. Reserve an open bowling time for family, friends, work, or birthday parties. When you get hungry or thirsty from all the big bowling fun or while watching the big games on the mini big screen TV, Strikers Sports Bar is sure to satisfy. Check out our menu and weekly food and drink specials at strikerslanes.com. Low snap, handoff, all across midfield. Pick up about three yards. Dane Haldorf. Might even got four there. Back it up a little bit. Credit him with four yards inside eight minutes now. Two point game. And there's no rush here. The momentum's obviously on the Blackhawks side, but. Wait, before we get set, there they go. Now motion. Vinendahl is going to fake to him. Monica trying to go up the middle. Ooh, good job of hanging on to the ball there. I believe that was number eight. I think that's caught the touchdown and two-point diversion. They're able to bring him down with one arm. Easier done on a wet field like this. You can see a lot of that. But he grabbed him. He kind of grabbed him by the, the arm that's carrying the football. So it's just a great job of just hanging on to that thing and live to see a, another play. Yep. I lost a yard, third and seven. I, I, again, he's talking about not getting cute. I think this one's got to stay on the ground as well. Or maybe just a quick pass to. It is going to be Monikin off to the right side. He's going to be yeah, bottled up and there. he's going to lose a half yard there as well. So, inside, seven minutes now. And fourth and long, and the bunt unit now will come out. If I'm If I'm going to punt this one. I mean, you, you want to angle it out of bounds, and I, but, but... Well, and I'm going to wait. Like, I'm going to let the clock wind all the way down. Maybe even call a timeout. i got three left, right? I, you don't want to call a timeout on your punting, do you? Well, geez, I would maybe... <laughs> it's a brilliant play by the Amory guy. I mean, maybe you don't call the timeout, but you take up as much time as you possibly can. I just, I just think of how you might want those timeouts in the foot. You know, yeah, play. potentially. Gets a good punt off, and it's going to take a nice bounce. going to bounce all the way down inside the 20 yard line where the Warriors will take over 6-12 to go in the fourth quarter trailing by two 81 yards away from potential uh, leading score but I mean they do have the win they did we saw them try and kick an extra point into the win they do have a very strong win at their back in this one if they were to get down somewhat yeah. close we did talk about how that I mean Kicking a field goal on that end of the field that would be, be a lot easier than this end as it's much. Actually, you can still see some grass over there. In 2001, Baldwin Woodville over Amory on a game winning field goal. I believe it was. Maybe an extra point, but. Stacked eye, third man through. Ain't getting very far. That game's actually on Blackhawk TV. Find it. That was Hopke. No yards. Inside six minutes. Second and 10. 28 carries for number 28. Mm, 65 yards. 
88 yards. Okay. He had that big 19 one yard. There's a third man through here, and there's a handful of Blackhawks there. There to stuff him again. That was actually Wallen, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah. Your guess, your that's, guess that's is Wallen. better than mine. That was Wallen. That was down hockey. Keaton Wallen. Yep. 22. Yep. So third and ten, five minutes to go here in, in Amory. Slot receivers out here in a motion this way. Option actually. And it is kept by Wallen. He might get a yard or two, but it's gonna be fourth and long with just over four and a half minutes to go now. And the punt unit is out. Is where you have like a punt safe if you got one. We do have a receiver out here, I don't know. Here it comes. Just got to catch the ball here. You know, Gavin would like nothing more than a bad snap. <laughs> Punt does get off. Which is gonna perfectly fine. Bounce about fine the 45 and roll back to about the 43. And now, you get, now you get to play the clock game too. Yeah, bad right? snap I mean there. And just, I mean, again, just a great job of getting it off. You know. You just pulled your... Uh, you pulled your mic out there, Mr. Pack. Yeah, so it's just me until Nick gets back on online. There we go. I won't punish him that long. You got you got excited there and stepped on your cord. Walking around to yeah. keep, keep the blood flow going and we're dry though. That's like no That's complaining about anything here. Yeah, being out in the uh, in the elements tonight would have been. Horrific. Both teams with a full complement of timeouts, so I don't expect Damer to start using them here right away. But oh, they're going to be the there reverse. There is a reverse, and it, oh, that's, um, that's this is so tough. I mean, he, I think he almost did to give it away. Did he line up yeah. way back? Yeah. I mean, and, and it's, 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 I mean, even we always talk every week. It seems like we're amazed at how athletic he is. I mean, yeah, he's he's way back there in the slot there. But uh, it's tough to you know come backwards, sideways, and try and get going forward. Yeah, but now, I mean, what, what would have been, what would have been f the thing to do there, is to have Gavin and just have Graydon run Fake into it, that yeah. vacated spot. Yeah. Fake that reverse. Second and long, Blackhawks. Lost a seven, low snap, hauled off up the middle. He might get back to the last scrimmage, and there is the first timeout used by Amory with 3.25 to go. They are trailing the Blackhawks, 22 to 20. Saw the Blackhawks jump out, 14 nothing. Amory countered with 20 straight. Blackhawks were able to march down and answer the latest touchdown by Amory, tied at 20. And Monikin took the QB sweep. Able to hit the pylon for two. And that's where we we sit, 22 to 20. And, I mean, I, I, I know, I mean, you said on the way up here that you had one rushing touchdown in seventh grade, but you're not even throwing the ball here if you're calling no. play, are you? Okay. No. I mean, I know. I mean, I love to throw the ball. You know what? Is it? Nah. I'd probably run, and I'd, I, and I'd settle the punt. Um but you know what? The element of surprise is the thing, Nick. I mean, the only thing I would see one of one of two things: either stand up and throw it to to Gavin, you know, here, and then try and get like a, you know, three on three out here and make right. one guy miss. But um, or, or you fake that and just try and throw one deep. I mean, a deep interception here is the same as a punt, but it, it will be hauled up the middle. Stay in bounds. Cuts. It crosses, gets to about the 45-yard line, and it'll be the second time out, Amory. 3.18 to go, it'll be fourth and long, and the Blackhawks will be set to punt here when we come back. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for uh, joining us tonight. I think our numbers are are decent. They've just cre crept yeah. up a lot. I'm guessing some running clock before yep. might be, might have heard a score and like, wait a minute. Yep, so thanks for, for joining us tonight. You can, you can like the video, you can subscribe.
all of those things are helpful for the channel as we uh, move from regular season to playoffs. We'll be broadcasting the um, volleyball playoff game. I believe the Hawks host Somerset on Tuesday night. And then uh, if they win, I think they will probably go on the road to Central if I looked at the bracket right on Thursday. The Blackhawk football team will find out their uh, destination and opponent tomorrow morning when the brackets are revealed on all the, uh, a lot of uh, local local news affiliates. WIA reveal show, I believe, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Hopefully the WIA can keep the uh, opponents a secret because they did leak that a couple hours early last year, so hopefully they do better this year. So we've seen a couple bad snaps here, and that's all you want is a, a good snap, catch the Catch a snap and get a punt off and gain some yards here. Good snap. That is good what punt. happens. Is low. It's going to bounce. Oh, oh he caught it on the run. Here and, and we see the official just get out of the way. Who made the tackle? I can't tell. I think, is that Jackson Johansson? Or is that Gavin? Oh, they, someone hurt for Amory. Is that a cramp? Oh, we do have an injured warrior here. Yeah, Jackson got a, made a nice tackle there on the sideline. The run through hit. I, this doesn't really feel like cramping up weather to me, Nick. Uh, well, again, the, it's, the fluids they choose to drink are not the same as they were back when we played. And a lot of sugar and yeah. Yeah. Amory did have school day, so they were up early in normal routine. So as it stands right now, Rice Lake's going to win the conference, undefeated, be in Division Three, and then St. Croix Central make the playoffs as a one lot one loss team. Could be the one seed, and maybe a two seed, depending on who's pulled over. I think the only way they're not the one seed is if we do bring a. a Lodi from Madison all the way up here. Yep, and we did see that last year with Columbus, and, and the WI is going to do uh, what they want in, in regards to who they think the best teams are in separating them. And Catholic Memorial, they did it with Catholic Memorial and, and uh, Columbus. Columbus last year. Um, Two Rivers is another team that's undefeated, and they're on the east side of the state, so one of those teams is going to have to come west. Option. Option. Walling up the middle. He goes nowhere. Brought down. Is that, I want to say that's sour. You could say it's anybody, and I you would. believe me. I'm going to watch. Sour on a tackle. Credit wall with a yard or two. Second and eight. 245 yeah, to go. That Fumble snap. Wall picks it up, and he's going to go nowhere. Third and eight. Here's again where you talk element of surprise and you kind of pass. Yeah, and they've, I mean, to be honest, they've had a touchdown pass. They've had a touchdown two-point conversion. Both wide open. But and then this is the toughest area with both run rollouts. I mean, we talked about what part of the field's the worst. I mean, that's right. that's where they're at right now. This is the worst part of the field. A lot of the action's happened right here. And Coach Kiefer wants to make sure he's got the right defensive set out there. He will use his first timeout. 2.07 to go here in Amory. Blackhawks 22. It's Amory it's, 20. If Zach, can you pan to the to the right and show how much grass is green? I mean, it's wet. It's probably not great footing, but the difference between the – it's amazing. I mean, We've taken 95% of the, the snaps. Where, where the back judge is now, he got a little bit of a, 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 a black blob there, yeah, right? Yeah, but then everything but over after, here, it's it's – 50% of the field is mud. It's like you 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 flip you flip the the field. So the the law of averages suggests that you should be able to you should play about half your your snaps on both sides of the field. We we've taken I mean on that third of the field, I bet you we've taken what five snaps Not or less. Many, yeah, and we talked about that, and and we, we scored we scored a touchdown on one you know opening play of the second quarter. Otherwise, we've haven't really been down there. It's crazy. Um, but third and eight. 
Warriors trips to the left. Likely Hopke up the middle. Yeah, and he's he's bottled up right away. He crosses the 40, give him a couple yards, but it's gonna be fourth and six or so inside two minutes. And at that at that point, I mean, if you're Amy, I would have taken your last time out right there, stop the clock, make sure you have the best play. Right. That one time only ain't gonna do you any good on defense, but it was nice to save it too. Or maybe this is a, we're going to try to draw these guys off sides and make it fourth and manageable and then call the timeout afterwards. Mm, yeah, I, I don't know what they're doing there. Even if they get the time, even if they get the first down, we're inside a minute and a half now. they got to get going. Right. There's a quad to the left again. Slot, single guy to the right. It's going to be a wall up the middle, I'm guessing. He's got a QB draw. Well, it's backwards, backwards a double pass. pass. Nope. Nope. Oh they, they ran us earlier, oh Hopke. Oh Makes the guy miss. He fumbled on out. He tried balls. to throw it forward. That's not going to work. He's close. He's darn close. I think he's short, though. Oh, yeah. Well, they restretched it out. No. He's not close. What? No. What, they what's moved. going on? They moved the chains. Yeah, they somehow. gave him a first down. No, they didn't. They gave us a first down? Yeah. That's anathematic. Like, let's have a, let's have a sign. Let's have a... Well, I don't know if the chain game dropped. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing they dropped the chains because of the, the action that's coming that way. If Coy Hopke was running near me within 20 yards, I'd drop the chains and run the other direction. <laughs> so the Blackhawks do get that uh, turnover and down to the minute 15 to go. Only one timeout for Amory. Doing the math, it's going to be about 110 here. They'll stop it. Then you got about 30 seconds, another Wait. 30 seconds. They have their timeout left, right? One. So 110. So we will be taking fourth. Fourth down snap with with less than 10 seconds to go. Can't take a safety. I I'm taking a knee. I am not handing it off. I'm Ever. taking a knee. Yeah, for sure. And if they were to get it with a couple seconds, make them go 50 yards. But there is the first kneel down. Maybe my math is off a little bit, but see how quickly they snap it. And now, if, if you're grading it, they're not even going to rush it at all. I, again, I don't know stay in there. Yeah, just stay in there for a little bit. Wait a minute. Walk you that down, coaches. Now, how did he – look at this. They lost – we lost maybe a yard on that when he snapped it. How does in that – In a shotgun. And he kneels on it. How did they only lose a yard? I'm going to have to redo my numbers. Second and 11. And he's staying in the same spot. There's Gunil on the other side of the 50. And they didn't even use their timeout, huh? And, well, so here's a, here they'd spot it with 25. They could take a timeout and then kneel it down on third down, and the clock will run out. The clock will run out on Amory's season, unfortunately, for our Warriors. Uh, gave a valiant effort here in Amory, scoring 20 straight after losing, uh, trailing by 14. But the Blackhawks, late touchdown and a two-point conversion. Monikin was on a quarterback sweep. Followed it with a quarterback sweep on two point conversion. End up winning 22 to 20. And well, more than likely, we'll be at King Field next week. And hopefully, we wait some good results from the Amory Hospital and uh, Cal Smith. And hope for the best there. And tomorrow, we'll find out an opponent when, where, who. Find the whole bracket. And uh, it's a new season then, right? Absolutely. So, uh, thanks for joining us tonight. For Zach Ambrose and Nick Pack, I'm Jeremy Nygaard. With a Blackhawk victory here at Amory. We're going to sign off for the night. So long, everyone.